Sometimes you just need to look at the ocean to realise that it is clearly not our home. The water behind me on a good day is a lovely place to snorkel, but even then, after about 30 seconds underwater, it becomes clear that the ocean is not the place for us. And yet, if we go far enough back in history, the ocean is indeed our home. It was down there in the depths, in the clefts, way beyond anywhere we can easily visit now, that life first emerged on Earth. Eventually, after tens, if not hundreds of millions of years, our ancestors dragged themselves up into the swamps and then began to walk about on the surface. When the ocean's like this, we can bob around on the surface of it with a life jacket, but of course we have no idea what's going on beneath us. In that way, the ocean's a pretty good metaphor for God. Some people just cruise through, floating around, being held and supported by the ocean, but never really understanding any of the depths of it. There is an incredible depth and mystery, both to the ocean and to God, that none of us will ever be able to master. Of course, the oceans aren't just a metaphor for God. The oceans exist in and of themselves. They are the dwelling place of millions of creatures all around us, many of which we're yet to discover. They are the place where our mammalian cousins, the whales, returned from the land and descended back once more into the depths. Only now are we starting to understand just how complex their cultures are, that they can teach songs from one group to another, that they move about in clans, that they even use tools. The oceans are a place not just for us to come up with metaphors for God, still less for us to dump our rubbish, but they are a home, indeed to most of the creatures on the planet, because most of this earth is made up of ocean.